When putting on PPE, we would use this for a patient that's in isolation due to some pathogen. Putting on the PPE would always happen in the hallway, not in the patient room. There will be a stop sign on the door that will tell you what type of PPE you should wear. You should sanitize your hands before you touch any of the PPE. You'll take the gown, open it up, put your hands in. You should secure it at the neck and at the waist. You tie behind your neck. And then you want to make sure that the gown is covered in the back so there's not any open area. And then you'll put on your gloves. And we want to make sure that the gloves cover the gown. And if you prefer, you can poke a hole in the gown to keep that tucked under your gloves. Or you can just pull it all the way down over your hand. Again, just making sure that it, that gets all the way up inside the glove. Then I would go into the patient room, perform care. If I needed to change my gloves at any time, I could do so. If my gown got soiled, I would have to do that, remove it in the patient room, and then go back outside and sanitize and get new PPE. When I'm all done caring for the patient, I'll remove the gloves, grabbing the palm of one hand, putting that completely inside the other, Throwing that in the garbage, and since my hands were contaminated and are considered the dirtiest, I would sanitize before I reach behind. Again, we consider the front of the gown to be contaminated, so I would start removing at the back. If you have a disposable gown, you can just break. And then we'll move from the top down. And I'm turning the gown inside out as I go. none of the pathogens get on my uniform. I'm going to throw that away and then sanitize my hands again.